Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel um, and happy 2021 and I'm sure we're all thrilled to say goodbye to 2020. <laughs> holiday season in 2020 and um, if anybody watched my last video which was my vlog um, I finished my third novel at the beginning of October and I have not touched that thing since I am treating it like a loaded gun and I don't know how the hell to handle it right now so um, <laughs> given that uh, it is 2021 and I have taken a solid almost three months off now of writing and uh, I'm kind of ready to jump back into it and I'm not sure if I'm ready to jump back into that manuscript yet but I'm ready to write I I'm ready to get back into writing so in 2021 I plan on starting a brand new video series here on YouTube uh, and that video series will be me posting a new video starting now. This will be the first video of the series through the end of April. And it's going to be me reading and following along this book. And it'll be the 90 days to your novel challenge. I will have a Facebook group and the link will be in the description below. So basically the first couple of videos of the series will happen before I actually start the 90 day challenge because the 90 day challenge is going to start on February 1st and end on April 30th. So the first couple of videos in January will actually be me covering some of the points in part one of the book. Um, so some of those videos are going to be Pantsers versus Plotters, which is actually not part of the book. It's basically me explaining how Pantsers could also do this 90 day journey because Obviously, this 90 days to your novel, it says it's a day-by-day -day plan for outlining and writing your book. If you're a pantser, you don't outline. So I don't want you to think that just because you're a pantser, you can't do this. You can. Uh, and in that video, I will explain how you could still participate in the 90-day journey without you having to relinquish your pantser status. Uh, okay, and then the second video in the series is going to be me going over the different types of outlines that are covered in part one of the book, as well as what type of writer each outline would probably be best for. Um, this also includes a type of outline that would be best for pantsers. Uh, the final video in the January lineup uh, will be the different types of scenes that she covers uh, in part one of the book, which is uh, basically her going into detail about the different types of scenes that need to be in a novel, what they are, how they operate, why they're necessary, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, so that'll be the final video in January, and then after that will be my, me beginning the actual challenge in February. So, um, starting in February, I will actually be doing vlog style videos, um, where I vlog me completing the assignments each day and I'll be posting a weekly video of me completing the assignments each day. Um, as well as at the end of each of those videos, I will be giving the assignments for the following week. That way, if you don't want to buy this book, and follow along yourself if or if you can't um, I'll have the links in the description below if you do want to if you do want to buy a copy um, but if you don't I will I will still be letting everyone know what the assignments are for the following week that way if you don't have the book you could still do the 90 day journey if you want to okay so a quick um, rundown of how the course is going to run uh, is weeks one through three are going to be for brainstorming, charting, and outlining. Weeks four is going to be for scene assessments. And um, I, 
I think that's for like research, like more like if you're researching uh, your fictional world or um, seeing uh, like going over if you are an outliner, going over your outlining and seeing if you're missing any kind of scene variety. Like if you have too much of one type of scene and you need more types of another scene. Um, week five is going to be for character assessment. Uh, where you're going to delve a little more deeply into your characters, backgrounds, and all of that yummy stuff. Um, and then week six, six through 12 are going to be actually writing the book. So that would mean, if I'm, my calculations are correct, we should be starting writing the novel, actually the writing of the novel, by mid-March. So, um... Uh, the other reason I thought this was a great time for, uh, for me to do this kind of challenge is because I don't know about a lot of you. I know NaNoWriMo is November, technically, and that's when you're supposed to write a novel in 30 days. I can't write a novel in 30 days. Like I said, I don't, I don't even get me started with my 90 day attempt. Anyway, um, so I always find myself kind of ready to hop back into it. In January because in November and December is it's holiday season and I don't I mean I, my life gets crazy during the holiday season so I don't like to stress myself out trying to accomplish everything that I need to accomplish for the holidays on top of accomplishing writing on top of that so um but but come January I'm kind of the, the holidays are over and I'm kind of like you know I get this like that's, you know, and then I'm like, I'm ready to jump back into it because I usually have at least November and December, I usually don't write. So I rarely actually participate in NaNoWriMo, even though I love the idea of participating in NaNoWriMo. It's just because it falls at a really crappy time of the year for me. Anyway, so come January, I'm ready to jump back in. And if I start in February, this 90 day journey, it actually gets me ready and thinking about what I want to write in April. So actually the camp NaNoWriMo's are a lot more useful to me than actual NaNoWriMo because they just fall at a better time of the year for me. Um, so, so this particular challenge will actually lead me right into April's camp NaNoWriMo, which I think is like perfect because I would, I would really like to participate in camp NaNoWriMo since I rarely can participate in actual NaNoWriMo in November. <clears throat> and this will kind of get me starting thinking about my novel in February and getting some of the, the groundwork done before April actually hits. So if any of you think that that is a good idea too, um, especially if you are a person who likes to prep ahead of time, um, then I invite you to follow along, join the challenge, make sure to click that link to join the Facebook group and subscribe so you know when I'm posting all of these videos in this video series. Mm -hmm. And um, please feel welcome to also vlog. If you're going to do the 90 day challenge and you yourself are an author tuber, uh, please, I, I would like to see your videos. So make sure to comment below and let me know, uh, post your link to your YouTube site. Um, down below so I sub so I can subscribe and uh, watch your vlogs if you're if you're doing this with me um, and there's something else I wanted to say and I just flew completely out of my mind oh don't and I'm going to be creating the hashtag for this challenge which will be hashtag 90 days to your novel challenge simple easy you can remember that I will post it on all of these videos so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Please feel free to use that hashtag on your own videos so it's easy to find. Um, and I cannot wait to get started and I really hope to see some of you in that Facebook group and uh, we can all start chatting and sharing ideas and getting hyped for uh, the 90 day challenge. Okay guys, that is all for me today. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to make sure you get notified whenever I post videos in this video series and comment below your links to your channel if you're going to be vlogging uh, for the 90 day challenge as well. I look forward to seeing everybody's video and I will talk to all of you guys in the next video. Bye!